Bonjour, mes petits choux. It is my pleasure today to once again be able to introduce our video. Uh, this is Aiden working on Scratcher. Actually, we get to start this video halfway through because he started the drawing and was telling me about it and I wrote it down. So here's the picture. Um, and I'll read it for those who can't read my writing. <laughs> Apparently it's an Avongi, an animal god of good and evil. It has a cocoon that he uses to help and save things. A hammer to cause natural disasters instead of solving them. There's a good leg that's fine and furnished and the other leg is bigger. And then I've written a Sukion. That might be its name. No. Yes, the name of the Avongi animal god. A long time ago, he tried to find his dad, went into a vortex. If he escapes, he'll be back. Many out of space explorers, explorers tried to find him, but their bodies got stuck in cloud vortexes. A full bolt of flat power causing could crack the cage. Now I'm going to read sideways, try and read it. Will he be able to bash the crack? I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, there's more. Apparently there's asteroid droids on the edges at that top right. Now, that was the point where I decided, yeah, let's just get Aiden to tell us live. Alright, go ahead. Start off as with a little striped egg. It grows till the stripes are green. And that's when it becomes a big astro, rainbow astro flare. So huge that, it go, that when it goes down, it hits and drops up and becomes a vine on the ears. You can't enter this astro. This giant fire, this giant force of astral flare. If they happen, that means that there's a border on the universe. You can't, you can always go up and around them if there's no astral flare by them, though. Alright. But sometimes you can get trapped in astro boxes, which only people can get you into. Right. Well, only gods can get you into when they're really angry. They can, they can grow the things when you enter. Fabulous. Is that the end? No. Okay. Now I'm just going to get back to the story. You see, he does escape, but the problem is his empty jail got left in the crease. There was still a mannequin of him in there, which was getting worn out. You see, he had to hide himself or, 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 his, or the guard will think he's come back from the dead. And overthrow every god to figure out how it happened. Because he's currently using an overthrow shock throw. On his hammer. So he can become his hammer. You know what that means? No. That kind of means that he's inside his hammer and you can barely see it because the hammer becomes a really big thing and he looks like a little wood splinter when really that's his, that's his face. Right. Which means he, he which means the wooden stick of his arm is mean, trying to grow the wooden stick of his arm so huge yep. that doesn't even look like his arm. Now that he's finished with that, he can actually make the evil side bigger, which means more often we be on the evil side. Right. That's his master plan. You know why? why? The evil side he can be controlled. Right. He's, you see the size of the evil side? I do. It's getting out of control. But the problem is, if he cleanses with him, which did happen, that means that he that means that two bodies together you know what that will mean? No, I don't know what that'll mean. But the trick and the other head will be kind of trapped. And then whoosh 
the other life goes back to its body and there's a big hunk on the other body which can, can't be controlled which means it will just keep growing and growing which means he is just destroying a mannequin right because he doesn't notice that he's doing all this to a mannequin by the way right he thinks he's destroying the real guy which was his grandmaster Wayne. right if the guy doesn't cooperate this one well, that is quite a master plan. But, you know what happens? No. They notice it because all the plastic just falls off. Right. Well, so his master plan was foiled. What's foiled mean? Foiled is when you have a plan and someone gets in the way and mucks it up so it doesn't happen. It's often used by evil guys and then they go, oh, My plan was foiled! I think it comes from an old term, like a foil, but actually I'd need to look it up to be sure. Maybe it comes from my plan. So it certainly doesn't come from aluminium foil, that's for sure. I think this foil is like a technical term for story. I think I know what it means. Mm. It's like my plan, I failed my plan, but foil was in, they made it fail. Exactly right. That's how we use it when there's someone intentionally made your plan go wrong. Not when they were just like hanging about, but you needed them to be here. Not like a misprediction. Sometimes your plan can be failed because you have a misprediction. Yes. Literally now he thinks he's got him. You know why? Why? Look at the shield. It's the only thing there. But then, but then, this shows that he used an eye. A chunk of his crown is getting broken by the atmosphere. That can't happen. His crown will just fall off into the trunks and stay there. Right. But it's getting destroyed by the atmosphere and reattaching. Which means right. it must be plastic. It's getting melted and stuck on. Right. Of the plastic. And he's like, ah, my plan was completely, utterly foiled. Oh, no. He's the baddest guy, by the way, he's the baddest guy in the world. The baddest guy in the whole world? Now, which world is this, though? Two Our million worlds. World. Oh, of two million worlds, he's the he's the baddest guy. Yeah. But we're not going to say the worst guy. But he does things like... You scraping on the black stuff off the table? Mm -hmm. That's much appreciated. He does seem like destroy cities, which isn't bad, which isn't, which isn't, which doesn't, which doesn't fall into one of the worst in the world. It falls into bad, right? Yeah. All right. Oh, hello. Again. Yes. Again. Um. So there's still more of this story to come and I really hope you stick around for part two, but I think this video has been going for long enough, don't you? See you next time. Oh, hello. Um, it's over now. You can go. Thank you. Bye.